Canadian brother from another mother and fellow sex symbol slash super genius, Paula Gia has made a video everyone needs to see. It's an important and devastating video in terms of counter apologetics, and it's completely underplayed even by Paul himself. He's he's just too humble sometimes in my not so humble opinion. I'll put a link in the description below and above me here somewhere one one of these corners or something. But the video makes such a crucial point and does so somewhat subtly that I want to be completely unsubtle about it and do my version of screaming it from the rooftops. Paul's video focuses on an interview with New Testament scholar Gary Habermas regarding the alleged double standard of resurrection skeptics like myself. But that's not what I want to focus on here. Deeper into Paul's video, 11 and a half minutes in, Paul shows Gary talking about an appearance he made on a TV show with then-atheist Anthony Flew regarding various aspects of the resurrection story. And the amount of Gary's misremembering what actually happened between him and Flew is absolutely epic. Paul actually found the TV appearance and has clips of it in his video demonstrating all the misremembering Habermas does. And the beautiful part is that he's misremembering while attempting to make the case that people can in fact theoretically remember details quite well from 40, 50, 60 years ago, as was allegedly done by the gospel writers. Now, this conversation between Flew and Habermas did not take place 40, 50, or 60 years ago. It appears to me to have happened sometime between 15 and 20 years ago. And in this case, Gary is indeed a first-hand witness. He's one of the principals involved. Unlike the Gospels, which are not written by eyewitnesses or people with any kind of first-hand knowledge of the events. If Gary can't accurately remember the details of something which happened to him personally some 15 to 20 years ago, and which were recorded on video for him to check, what hope can we have that second or third hand non eyewitnesses got the details of the Jesus story correct after 40, 50, or 60 years? Why was Gary misremembering? Because Gary was motivated to misremember. He was trying to tell a more compelling story than the facts would bear. He wanted to make points which, if he told the story accurately, simply wouldn't be made. I don't even think Gary was lying, per se. Study after study shows that we all have experiences where our memories and brains catalog things one way when the actual facts are either simply and or sometimes entirely otherwise. With the Gospels, we could have a simple case of misremembering after decades of people passing the story on, adding to it in order to make it a more compelling story like Gary did during his interview, or we could have a case of people simply and willfully refusing to admit the facts. This kind of thing happens all the time, and may have happened right from the beginning of the Jesus movement. Take a look at this from another Messiah movement going on right now. Wasn't Q's whole thing that Trump would be reinstated as president? He's never left. There's no doubt in my mind, 150,000%. That he's still president of the United States? Really? Does he still hold the powers of the presidency? Well, he's been flying around the world on Air Force One. It says something. I thought Joe Biden's technically on Air Force One. No. So they're they're faking it? Yeah, it's it's not even a presidency. Joe Biden has been dead since 2019. James Woods, the actor, is playing Joe Biden, Sleepy Joe, Poopy Pants. Apparently, we're living in the world of Mission Impossible where people can actually wear masks of other people and a little strip of whatever on their throats to make them sound exactly like the person they're pretending to be. Reporters three feet away can't tell that they're actually speaking with actor James Woods rather than Dark Brandon. These people love their tangerine tyrant so much they can't possibly imagine him being the loser in the 2020 election. So he didn't lose. He's still the president, despite all evidence to the contrary. Now, imagine you're living 2,000 years ago. You don't know where the sun goes at night, and your messiah has just been brutally murdered by the government you hate, the Roman deep state. Love you, Romans. He's still alive and will have his retribution is an equally reassuring tale. 
isn't it? If you think the Gospels count as evidence of a dead man rising from the grave, you're simply ignorant of human nature and our capacity to remember things as we'd like. To deny the reality we're living in and imagine a better, more satisfying account of things. Now starring James Woods. Even as the data all around us tells another story. Once again, I'm me. Thanks for watching.